So I'm Dave the Wave Machino, and uh, we're going to take a sneak peek at the, our new movie, Swift Silent Deep. <laughs> I think what really sunk in the most was uh, our predecessors, the people before us, and those guys that had the village to themselves, and ski and the powder, and like Sam Southwick. I can't help. I just love that footage of him with the hands doing this in the old days in the Powell. Well, the hostel was, was definitely a, an island of security for, for all of us ski bums. And in, in my case, it was, it was definitely the hot seat to the greatest skiing on the planet, at least at what I knew at that point. And uh, we all converged there at the hostel, and the Air Force was born in the hostel. Contrary to luxury European-style lodges, the Hostel X was a bare-bones alternative providing four skiers with bunk rooms for 10 bucks a night. As an affordable lodging option, the hostel became a sort of Ellis Island for legendary ski bums from around the country. I guess my favorite parts of the film are, again, the, the, uh, the predecessors, and seeing Pepe and how good he really was, and how big an area he was getting, how far ahead of skiing he, he was. When Pepe comes to a rock or drop-off, he doesn't go around. He just tucks his knees into his chest and flies for a while. And then, of course, the, the reflective parts, like seeing Doug skiing and, and uh, gosh, all the closest, my closest friends in the whole world in this movie. My Alaska experience was surrounded with all the same people I skied with here right away. And then Doug, of course, being the leader, because he had been there the year before, so this is Dave the Wave Muccino. Uh, take a look at Swift Silent Deep. It's a great movie. We're very proud of it. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>